my channel Simple Quality Living. Uh, so today we got a goat on the stand. We're gonna trim her hoof. Uh, we got her a little while ago, and it doesn't look like our hooves have been trimmed for quite a while. See the the shell on the hoof is pretty long on the outside. So we're gonna go ahead and trim that off, and hopefully get her feeling better. So we just have our our snips right here. That's what we use. <laughs> so she's those to cut the outside, the hoof wall or the nail off. Hopefully she'll stay still for it. Okay, like see how overgrown that is? Uh, so underneath all this gunk in there, um, once we get it cleared out, it's usually a, oh, hold still. <laughs> it's usually a whitish color. It's kind of the soft spongy, that's the actual hoof. And so we want the, the wall to be kind of flat with that. So we just gotta trim it all back. And you want their hoofs to be more rhomboid shape, instead of rectangular, where it's a little bit longer in the front than the back. <clears throat> and you don't want any overgrowth on the sides or in the front either. Yep. To see to see that whitish, uh, clear kind of color. That's the actual hoof. And, uh, so we gotta. Oop! Hold still. Just want to trim it back. <laughs> <laughs> She'll hold still. If you don't trim their hooves, then um, you could really hurt them um, or kill them. Uh, you could, they could get lamed or um, crippled. Yeah, so they can get infections. If it's so overgrown, it'll get like a foot rot or scald or whatever they call it. Um, but so that you trim it and you'll avoid that. So that's closer to what you want it looking like. See the difference between those two. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty crazy, so yeah. Let's start trimming this other one off. So if you're go somewhere likely to be raised on farms, then um, sometimes they walk on really soft areas and spots, and so they're more likely uh, to have this overgrowth versus if they're on more harder surfaces or rocks where it actually like helps scrape. Kind of grinds down the hoof wall as they walk mm -hmm. but when they're in pasture or in this enclosed area like we've got a lot of grass then uh, their hooves tend to grow out ah, it's okay. see how all that build up in there that's what causes the the rot is the manure and moisture gets just trapped in between the hoof wall and just kind of starts to rot in there. We should have done this a while ago, but at least we're getting to it now. <laughs> so how often should we do this? Um, we did it, we've always done it a couple times a year just to keep them in check. Um, in some books you'll, you'll uh, read or hear about like every month, but that might be a little excessive if they're just, not. It depends on what type of goat you have. Uh, just keep an eye on their hooves and if you see it start getting a little overgrown, then trim it pretty much. Depends on the type of pasture they have. If they have a lot of things to climb on, they might do better. If they have some rocky or sandy soil, they might not need it as much. And we just put, whenever we do this to our goats, we just put them on the stand, our milking goat stand, and it works really well. Lock them in there, give them some grain to try to keep them happy for a little bit. <laughs> See how overgrown that is. That's a lot of hoof we've been trimming off. There's still a little to go. Okay. Uh, so trim the, the heel or the back of the hoof as well. Just trim that off. Uh, that's where the most of the pressure goes. Their weight when they're walking. So 
we finished that one. So uh, this is their other hoof. Both of them are pretty, really overgrown. See how they're curled over and just oh. really long? Yeah, that's what you don't want. <laughs> so, start trimming them off. See how they're curled over like that, that's how the moisture gets trapped in there and so they start rotting. Because there's no escape. I'm just gonna have to cut it back slowly so you don't get into the, the sensitive area. Yeah, see all that gunk just built up in there. Mm. Who knows how long it's been since they've had their hooves trimmed. Yeah, we got her um, just, what, a couple months ago? Yeah. And so she already had this when we got her. And yeah, we should have done it right away. Just yeah, <laughs> got away from us. So that's the end result. That's more what they should look like. Um, they don't need to be perfectly smooth or anything like that. They'll they should wear them down as they walk, but just keep them somewhat trimmed.